As the years pile up and more and more UFO files and tales of alien encounters are released, the details are coming at us in rapid succession. And the big news is that the FBI is confirming this. According to them, in an admitted statement, they say that interdimensional alien entities are in fact visiting us, that'd be mankind, here on Earth. And that is what we are going to talk about today. Before we get started today, I just want to give you a quick reminder that we have two channels, A Stranger World Than Fiction, and we also have They Call Me The Ghost, A Stranger World Than Fiction, where we talk about all things strange. Secondly, we have They Call Me The Ghost, and that is where I, the ghost, share a lot of my on-the-job experiences. And don't forget to check out our podcast. So if you are into all things strange, outrageous, crazy, and mysterious, and you like them in story format, that's what we do here, and you're in the right place. All right, back to these aliens. What does the FBI have to say? Is it surprising to us that they're finally admitting something? They really have been all along, sort of. From the reptilians to the greys, the Nordics, those humanoid giants, mantis aliens, and a lot more. We can gather that there is a tremendous amount of diversity to be found in the world of extraterrestrial beings. Now, how many of you thought that was just the creativity of mankind himself coming up with all of these different drawings and digital images of all those different kinds of aliens out there? First off, you have to decide with yourself, is this something you're willing to accept and fully believe? If you do, Listen on. As we all know, for many years, there have been a lot of talks and ideas about the aliens coming to visit us on Earth. But what if there is an entirely different type of alien species? They're out there in the subconscious realms, which are not in fact visiting us from outer space, but they're coming from other dimensions. Other dimensions aren't a new idea. We talk about them a lot here. But the idea that the aliens that are visiting us are coming from other dimensions might be a new topic for some. How are they getting here and why are they coming? And how is this all possible? Well, let's take a look. Taking into account that it's widely accepted that there are likely to be entirely different worlds out there, independent of our own, and they exist simultaneously to our own. And to take that a step further, it's also been revealed that travel between these two worlds, travel between dimensions, is actually possible as well. According to recently released documents from the FBI archives that shine light on a phenomenon that is still being widely ignored in the paranormal and alien community. And why is that? Are they unable to accept it? Is it taking it too far? Not sure, but if you want to believe in dimensions... Why not believe this? Well, according to those FBI archives, interdimensional entities have been visiting us and they've been doing it for years. As the world waits for the myriad of problems of humanity to cool down, okay, and for higher levels of consciousness for us to actually wake up more, revelations and awareness to begin manifesting into our reality. The FBI has quietly been releasing documents that could challenge everything we know about space-time and even reality. The documents which have been released from the Bureau's archives suggest that these so-called interdimensional entities, these interdimensional extraterrestrials, have been visiting us for a long time and have taken extra precautions so as to not be seen in our visual spectrum. It's already been well established that human beings, as advanced as we may seem as a species and as advanced as we think we are, we do not possess the ability to hear a vast amount of all available sounds out there or see the full spectrum of all the available colors. These type of travelers were originally spotted through infrared cameras, the FBI has stated, strangely enough, to little fanfare. Right, Because we're not talking about it as much as all the other stuff, like the cool little UFO videos that everyone seems to spot, but nothing's really clear, all of that stuff. They're claiming they're seeing them. And here they're telling us that they were able to see some through infrared cameras, 
But where's all the talk about that? This doesn't get as much hype as everything else. But if these entities are as real as the FBI claims them to be, it's easy to see how they could account for an incredible range of the paranormal phenomena out there, ranging from ghosts to alien sightings, as well as abductions, bizarre things that are happening, unexplained horror story type experiences, and much more. The FBI will tell you these documents have been hidden in plain sight. There is a website out there called Soul Ask, and it posted pictures of these particular documents that are hidden in plain sight and analyzed whether or not these entities have peaceful qualities to them. The FBI documents can be found on this website under the term The Vault, so you can check it out. The papers clearly state, according to the site's analysis, a wide variety of characteristics that may be surprising to some observers. The interdimensional entities are said to travel with crews of several different members in disc-shaped crafts, while some of the others are operated via remote control. That might be a new one for some of you. Altogether, their mission in this dimension and on this planet is peaceful, they say, and that they enjoy it here enough to consider settling on our plane. The visitors are said to be human-like, but much larger in size, and come from their own world, not from Earth itself. They don't come from any particular planet, per se, but they say they come from an impersonable planet that falls out of the range of our senses entirely. Now, is this possible? Sure it is. Once these interdimensional aliens enter our vibrational frequency, they have the ability to essentially materialize out of thin air, along with their crafts. The FBI documents back this up. And while they are peaceful in terms of their mission, their ships contain a type of radiant energy weapons or ray guns that will instantly disintegrate any attacking ship. So they're ready to be on the defense while they're on vacation here. They are said to come from areas far above the astral plane. This is what the documents say. And this is a startling term that shows the depth of knowledge these FBI agents possess about these interdimensional entities. And these documents are out there. They're declassified and they're available on the FBI website if you haven't checked that stuff out already. The report on all of this was first made public very quietly in 2011 and written by a high-ranking unknown, of course, FBI agent who remained anonymous for reasons of national security. The colonel had studied aliens, UFOs, and extraterrestrials, and interdimensional beings for many years before he released these. They are said to have no intention of interacting with humans according to this FBI file and have in fact developed their abilities to the point where they can blend in with us seamlessly right here in our world. Samples of the documents are available just in case you still don't believe in the disclosure and the vast, inconceivable world out there. We truly are not alone according to all of this. And these FBI statements and their documents and their website and everything like that, it's just more proof that can add to our ever-growing list of things that prove that aliens are out there. And I know that there are a lot of FBI speculations out there, and there probably should be, but these things are still real, and the FBI is still very credible in these things they have done. So how does it make you feel, and what do you think about interdimensional aliens? For those of you out there that are into all of this, is this a new idea? And if it is new to you, do you think it's possible? I personally think it's absolutely possible. There are other planes, other dimensions out there, and there are other worlds mirroring our own and beyond. I believe it's all possible. But what do you think? Let us know. Thank you for listening today and until next time, and I will talk to you all soon.